Hey guys, in this week's video, I'm going to talk to you about the number one mistake people make when they are trying to achieve goals and how you can avoid that. So when we are setting our sights on something and we are using all our efforts to go towards it, one of the things that can be a massive oversight on our part is not actually seeking things feedback from other people. Now this can be because we have some really negative association with feedback. We might have had a rubbish performance review um, once a year for God knows how long where this is the only time we get feedback and it's not useful and just basically shoehorned in there for the sake of it. Or it might be that we have had a past where we've been criticized and we, every time we think about getting that feedback from somebody else, it just reminds us of those moments where we've been criticized and it's felt really difficult for us. It's a natural survival instinct to back away from something that we feel is negative for us or threatening to us. And unfortunately, that happens far too often with feedback. And the reason why we need to override that instinct is because goal setting researchers have found that seeking feedback is one of the highest determinants of goal achievement because it predicts our ability to achieve that goal more accurately. And how does it do that? Well, it does that because when we are are just trying to make our way towards that goal if we don't get that outside in feedback on what we're doing we're just guessing right we're just like well I think this is working or you know I have a sense that this is the right thing to do but without actually testing that one of the concepts I was talking about with a client this week is if we don't bring our ideas into the light and we just hold them in the dark because we're so afraid of putting them out there and people responding badly to them then they never grow because things don't grow in the dark, right? So even if you put stuff out there and it's criticized, even if you ask for feedback and it's negative, it's still a good thing. And this isn't a, hey, it's a good thing. Oh, you know, all things are special, blah, 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 blah. This is, it's still a good thing because you can take that information. You can take that critical piece of intel that without that you will not be able to actually develop and move forwards and you can use it to your advantage and Tom Bill you talks about this brilliantly in this um, metaphor that he uses about being um, hit in the face with a rock right and that's how he describes this feedback he describes it that it's so painful like it comes at you it hits you and you just have to take that you just have to stand there and accept that pain and accept that oh my god that hurts like that sucks right and then he says that you should then lean down pick up that rock and get the gold that sits inside it and that gold is what is that piece of information? What is, for example, with my research paper, it's been going back and forth to the reviewers, for those of you who are close to me, will know that this has actually been a process of over a, it's about a year and a half now, this has been going back and forth with the reviewers. And, you know, if I looked at that just like a rock, then I'm going to be saying from that very fixed mindset space, where we just look at one point in time, I'm going to say, yeah, that paper is done and you know I can't do this but actually what they give me every time is another piece of information another gold nugget I can use to build into it and genuinely I am so 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 grateful to the researchers who have contributed to the paper through their critique and I can hand on heart say they have made it so much better so much richer and made me so much better because of it and that is the thing. So if we, in that moment, we just take that piece of feedback and we see it critically, we have our fixed mindset cap on and we reject it, then we don't get to move forwards. Now, another piece of research I was looking at for my paper looked at how people responded to feedback. And they looked at people who sat largely in a camp where they are very learning orientated, where they um, are wanting to develop and improve themselves. And they do that in a way where they want to get better than the person that they were yesterday, they want to improve their skills and abilities. And they looked at those people versus the people who are very... Um, performance prone so they're looking at how they can prove their abilities to other people or how they can avoid showing who they're not to other people so avoid showing inability to other people 
And when they looked at how those two camps, so the learning orientated and the performance orientated camps, which also there are some associations with a fixed, mind, fixed mindset on the performance side and a growth mindset on the learning side, there are some associations there. Um, they found that both camps responded equally to the feedback in the moment. So what that means is that when all people were given that feedback, in that moment, they went, it's not useful. No thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Not helpful to me at all. However, the people that were in the learning orientated space, when they came back to those people four weeks later, those people said, yeah, it was really useful. And that's the thing with the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. I've talked to you about this before. It's looking at things on a different time scale and it's understanding that there is a different time scale because we're in the fixed mindset space. We're like, this is how it's always going to be. And we're only looking here in the moment. But when we look on the long game, the long time scale, that's when we see that we can develop. And not only that, we can use feedback as that tool to develop. And one of the things Tom Billy also says is, look, even your worst enemy, when they give you that feedback, it's going to be the most incredible gift because they're not going to sugarcoat it. Because it's all very well, the people around us saying, oh, it's great. I love it. That's great. Yeah, it's good. But that doesn't help us to develop. What we need is the people that care enough that they're going to give us the truth because that's when we get to move forwards and that's when we get to progress. So whatever it is that you're working on right now, and I want you to let me know, and I want you to let me know in the comments that you're actually going to do this, you're going to ask for that feedback. We need to be brave enough to step out there, to put that into the light and then to ask those people who we know will give us an honest, a real critical um look at what it is we're doing and what we could be doing to make it better all right guys i hope that was useful for you i really look forward to hearing from you about what it is that you're working on right now and what you're going to do to ask for that feedback or put that thing into the light so you can get that feedback and if there's any topic that you want me to cover then let me know like i want to make these videos to serve you so please don't hesitate to get in touch with me and i look forward to seeing you in the next one